The center at the Renaissance School, the Jane Pauley Community Health Center, is a community health center inside the school that is open to the public and will take everyone, regardless of their ability to pay, will offer a sliding fee scale for those without insurance. But again, if someone presents us and absolutely cannot pay for their health care that day, we will go ahead and treat them. We're often dealing with a um, population that may not have access to any sort of health care or other social services. So we are looking at expanding into dental care as quick as we can. We're also going to offer mental health services. We're looking at uh, partnering with the Warren Township Office to have a social worker on site to also, again, give folks access to um, components of the, of the community that they may not have. In integrating the mental health services and having it right there on site, we're going to work with a model where we bring that mental health service to the patient. That way the patient knows too, the doctor's very engaged in this, doesn't have to be a separate issue. It all fits together. Her mental health is just as important to her high blood pressure and her diabetes as is her medicine. And to integrate those two, I can tell you that Jane Polly would say that if she would have had that model when she was visiting her primary care doctor, when she had hives and anxiety, and it was all rolling into this bipolar disease, she would have been diagnosed much sooner. And I just think that by having this service, and again, can we spread it across to other avenues of healthcare? I hope so. I think it will just be a wonderful model for people. It's not that no other community health center has it, but we're probably about third, and four, third or fourth in line. Luckily, we're not reinventing the wheel. There are some other models out there, but there are very few um, that are, are doing this. Now, an FQHC is a federally qualified health center, and that's actually a grant that you apply for through the federal government that gives you a status, a higher status, and gives you grant money to take care of the uninsured. Right now, we're starting out on our own doing that, and then um, we hope to get this grant money to get some enhanced reimbursement so that we again can offer more services to the uninsured. At the same time, we'll still take Medicare and Medicaid. As you move to that federally qualified health center, what you need to do is you need to create a, a board, a community board that helps govern the center. So in essence, you have the community helping to drive your processes, helping to drive what you offer so that you actually meet the community need. We actually have had um, a first meeting of community advisors. Jane Pauley wanting to lend her name to the center really has allowed us to get out into the community and talk about it in a way that I think is just, it's taken on a life of its own. It really is um, such a honor to have her want to be involved in this. And when I say that, she really wants to be involved in it for the long haul. I see her coming back, you know, a couple times a year to visit the center, to do talks, to be engaged. It's not as though she just wanted to lend her name and walk away from this. She's very uh, dedicated and I think has quite a bit of nostalgia to the east side of Indianapolis, to Warren Township. And I just, I think that will um, allow us to grow this center in a way that we might, we might have struggled without that.